Hi class, so this is problem number seven from your acceleration handout and it's going to help you with um, your preparation for exam one. It says, a speedboat traveling at a constant velocity of 20 meters per second passes a police boat at rest. The police boat decides that this is much too fast and starts his boat eight seconds after the speedboat passes. The police boat accelerates 2.3 meters per second squared for 10 seconds, then travels at a constant velocity. When and where does the cop catch the speedboat? I said boat too many times. So from the question, we should know that when refers to when in time. So time. Let me redo that T. It's a little better. And where it pertains to a final position. So we write x, don't forget that initial position we refer to as x naught. So we want to see what's happening. So the boat is just going 20 per second for eight seconds and the cop decides, okay, I'm gonna chase him, starts accelerating um, for 10 seconds, then travels at constant velocity. So what we really care about is uh, What's really important is the point where the cop is going at constant velocity because it should be higher than 20 meters per second so that he catches uh, the speedboat. So let's get all the information we can from, uh, from both of them, right? From the speedboat and the cop or police boat. So anything uh, pertaining to the speedboat, I'm going to write or I'm going to refer to as B1 for boat 1. Let me redo that. P is in Bravo. There you go. And for the speed boat, I'm sorry, police boat, B, P for boat police. I'm also going to highlight the information given by the problem so we can solve it. I'm going to use blue for the uh, police boat, uh, green for the speed boat, and yellow for anything that pertains to boat. You'll see what I mean. So the problem says a speedboat traveling at a constant velocity of 20 meters per second. So that's a speedboat. So constant velocity, 20 meters per second. Passes a police boat at rest. So police boat at rest. Then the police boat decides it's uh, too fast and then starts his boat for eight seconds. So the time is going to be the same for both. So eight seconds, we do yellow. And then the police boat accelerates at 2.3 meters per second. So accelerates 2.3 meters per second for 10 seconds. Then travels at constant velocity. When and where do they meet? Okay, so let's get everything we, or let's get all the information information we can for the speedboat. So given the initial velocity for the speedboat is 20 meters per second. It says right there. Now remember if velocity is constant that means there's no acceleration because we define acceleration as the change in velocity. So if the velocity is constant, that means it's not changing. Therefore, we can see that the acceleration for the speedboat is zero meters per second squared. Now the time, um, he travels for eight seconds, but then the 10 seconds it took the police boat to stop accelerating, as you can see, also applies for the speedboat because he doesn't stop. So the total time before the chase, like the good chase start when he's going at constant velocity and he's going at constant velocity, um, the time is 18 seconds because it's 10 plus eight. So time is equal to eight seconds from part one plus 10 seconds from part two, which is the same as 18 seconds. Because we want to know how far the speedboat traveled before the cop stopped accelerating, okay? Meaning we want delta x, we want displacement. Don't forget that delta x can also be written as x minus x naught. 
And then let's look at our equations. We don't have final velocity, but we're not solving for this one because it's going to constant velocity. So let's not use that one. Um, we do have the time, but we have zero acceleration. So in this case, this one, velocity one won't work. So we'll use uniform acceleration. So we have x minus, I'm sorry, no, x equals x naught. So let me redo that x. x naught plus v naught t, which is initial velocity multiplied by time, plus one half a t squared, that is one half the acceleration multiplied by the time squared. Pay attention. We said that the acceleration here in this case is zero. That means one half a t squared will go to zero. We cancel it. And then we say x equals x naught plus v naught t. We want to have this equation in the form of delta x or x minus x naught. I can do that by moving x naught to the left, which is the same as subtracting x naught from both sides. So now I have x minus x naught is equal to v naught t. So I rewrite this in terms of delta x, and my equation is very simple. The displacement is the velocity initial multiplied by time. Let's substitute. That is 20 meters per second in 18 seconds. Part 1, 8 seconds. Part 2, 10 seconds. So if you substitute this into your calculator, you're going to find that the answer is 360 meters. So that's, that's how far he traveled, okay, before he stopped accelerating. Now, let's look at the police boat. Get all the information that we can. Give in. Now, from the problem, police boat at rest. We agree that anything that is at rest has an initial velocity of 0 meters per second. And then... He accelerates at 2.3 meters per second squared. So acceleration of police boat, 2.3 meters per second squared. Now, the time, you have to be very careful because you're not using 18 seconds. Why? Because for the first 8 seconds, the police boat was thinking about whether or not to chase him. So it took him 8 seconds to start his boat or accelerate. So we're going to look at how far he traveled before he stopped accelerating. That means only 10 seconds, okay? Only 10 seconds. So for this time, or for this uh, part, the time is 10 seconds. Now we can use the same equation. Um, because we're going to find the final velocity eventually, because we want to see what is the constant velocity. But first, we want to see how far he traveled. So same equation, this one up here. So we have x is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. And then we know that the initial velocity is zero, so v naught t will go to zero. We have x is equal to x naught plus one half a t squared. Also, we said that uh, we need to have this in the form of delta x. So we do the same thing, we move it to the left so that we have x minus x naught is equal to 1 half a t squared. We rewrite this in terms of delta x, 1 half a t squared. Again, a very simple equation. We substitute, so I'm going to do it down here. 1 half, the acceleration is 2.3 meters per second squared. The time is 10 seconds. I think you need to square this term. And you're going to find that the displacement by the speed, I mean by the police boat was um, 115 meters per second. Just meters, not meters per second. Just meters because it's uh, displacement. So now we know how far he traveled. Now let's see what was the constant velocity after he stopped accelerating. So now we're looking for V, velocity. We can use this one, yes, um, it has a square, 
So if you guys, well, you can use this one, and that's fine. If you don't want to use the square, uh, if you want to do the square root, then you can use this one, uniform acceleration. I'll show you how. But in this form, so we have. No, no, sorry, sorry. You don't have to use this one. We're looking for velocity. We can just use the simple velocity equation because we have velocity initial, we have acceleration, we have time. So velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied by time from this one, velocity. So let's substitute. Initial velocity is zero. So we can just cancel it or not add it. So, you know, let me cross it out. Acceleration multiplied by time, super simple. 2.3 meters per second squared. And then the time is 10 seconds. So velocity is equal to 23 meters per second. So we have the final velocity, we have the displacement, but this one we have the displacement and since it's constant velocity, then the velocity won't change, it's just this one, right? Now, this is where it gets, uh, not tricky, but you have to pay attention. At this point, we can find final position in the time. Now, if they meet, if they meet, the final position has to be the same for both. The same with the time. So let us use this equation to find final position, uniform acceleration, because we're looking for x. Look, looking for x. Okay? So let's go final position for x for v1 for the speedboat. We have the final position is equal to x0 plus v0 t plus 1 half a t squared. Now, again, he's going at constant velocity. That means there's no acceleration, and we set it over here. So let's use this simplified form. Final position, position will be x0 plus v0 t because he's not accelerating. And this one I don't want to solve or do want to put it in terms of delta x because I do want the final position. I want this, okay? So for the speedboat, we're going to say x is equal to initial position for the speedboat plus the initial velocity for the speedboat multiplied by the time. Now, let's do it in terms of the cop, BP. Now we want the final position for the cop, which is going to be the same. He's going at 23 meters per second. He's no longer accelerating because it's going at constant velocity when he reaches 23 meters per second. So we have x naught plus v naught t. Remember, the same form, but I excluded this term because we know there's zero acceleration. So x naught bp plus v naught bp, oh, I missed the v is in Bravo, times the time. Notice that this is the same as, oh, that's not a check mark. There you go. This is the same. This is the same. Time is the same. Time is the same. Final position, they have to be the same because they're going to meet and the time is the same, right, for both. We want to see when and where. So let me do that. So the, the T's go for when and the both X go for where. Since X is the same for both, we can set these two equal to each other because X will equal X and then we're going to use the time to solve for it. So x initial for the speedboat plus velocity initial for the speedboat multiplied by the time will be equal to this one over here x initial by the police boat plus 
initial velocity for the police boat multiplied by the time. Now you may, you may ask, where do we find the initial positions? That's why we find, I found a displacement. This is the initial position for the police boat, and this is the initial position for the speed boat. That's when they uh, were going at constant velocity. Starting point for the speed boat, starting point for the um, police boat. Now let me move this question. There you go. So all we do is substitute. Initial position for the speedboat was, I don't have these parentheses. So 360 meters plus initial velocity or just the velocity of the speedboat, which was 20 meters per second times T is equal to initial position for the police boat. We said it was 115 meters plus initial velocity or the velocity of the speed boat when it went constant, which we said was 23 meters per second, T. Now we combine like terms. Let's have all our T's on the left side since we're solving for time. So to do that, we move this one to the left side. So it's the same as minus 23 meters per second. And we move the meters to the right side. So we move it over here. Same thing as subtracting 360 meters. So our equation would look, so let me move this even further down. So we have 20 meters per second T minus 23 meters per second T is equal to 115 meters minus 360 meters. So this operation should be simple. That's 20, 20 T minus 23 T. So that would be Oh, you can even factor, so, but I'm just going to use this as if it was like 20x minus 23x. Same algebraic manipulation. So we have negative 3 meters per second t is equal to, then you do 115 minus 360, so that would be plus 15 that'd be 30, so negative 145. Let me confirm, it's late, and I don't trust my math. 245, you see, 245. Negative 245 meters, don't worry, you have negatives, but that's fine. So then, we need to solve for t, we divide by negative three meters per second, negative three meters per second. And then I'm gonna start using this space over here. So our time is going to be equal to negative 245 meters per second divided by negative three meters per second. And the answer will be, the time is 81.67 seconds. So this is how long it'll take. So when is this? Now let's see where we want to find x. All we have to do is substitute the time um, for the entire, entire, entire trip, which pertains to, um, we're going to use the speedboat, right? Because he's going to be caught. He's going to uh, the, the cop is going, going to catch him. So we're going to use x is equal to x naught plus v naught t. So 
the final position, it's the initial position. So that is 360 meters plus V naught, which is 20 meters per second, times the time, which is 81.67. So times 20. Well, so when you do that, you find that the final position when he gets caught is 1,993.33 meters. So our answers, we highlight, let's use pink, and the time, which was 81.67 seconds. This is a long problem, I know, but it's got all the elements for velocity and acceleration that you need to, you need to know for the test. If you have questions, don't, don't forget that I will be still doing tutoring before and after school. Bye, everyone.